Hey guys, Micah here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are discussing California gun laws. So does the Department of Justice have what it takes to propose regulations that will actually pass the Office of Administrative Law's approval? This is a question I've been asking myself personally, and I hope the answer is no. Now let me let me let me tell you why I think that that would be a good thing. So, if the Office of Administrative Law keeps denying, which they just did again, uh, the the proposed regulations for assault weapons registry that the Department of Justice keeps presenting. What will inevitably happen is a stalemate, in my opinion. What this means is that if the Department of Justice can't come up with reasonable solutions of how we're supposed to register these assault weapons, then I don't see how we're able to register said assault weapons. You feel me? So basically, they've already proven that they can't do this. Twice now, the Department of Justice has submitted their proposed regulations. This included taking extensive pictures uh, and photos of the firearm itself. So it really asks, you know, it makes you ask the question, well, does that mean that I can't change the configuration of my rifle? Let's say I have a flat dark earth vertical foregrip on there when I take a picture and then I want to put a black one on there. Does that change my assault weapon? You know, there's a lot of questions that that kind of stuff raises. Furthermore, they're adding to the law. You see, what passed was simply that a bullet button equipped rifle was now uh, classified as an assault weapon. That doesn't mean that it is a different type of assault weapon. But what the Department of Justice is trying to do, of course, is say that it's a different class of assault weapon. The reason they're trying to do that is because if it was simply just an assault weapon like all the other assault weapons, you could put a magazine release on it and you would have a legally owned assault weapon, according to the state of California. Well, they don't want that, so they're, they're adding to the law. So what was passed, they're saying it's okay, and they're actually citing uh, their legal reasons why they're allowed to do this, and those reasons, if you dig into them, actually say they're not allowed to do that, but I digress. Anyway, what they're pushing forward is they're saying, well, you, you need to keep the bullet button on there. It's a different kind of assault weapon. So they're writing their own law. As long as they keep putting that in the proposed regulations, in my opinion, the Office of Administrative Law is gonna keep denying their proposed regulations. Now, if you follow California laws or bills, the Assembly Bill, AB 103, actually went through. Basically what that bill was, was uh, there was a lot of bad stuff for California gun owners, but one of the ones that was really interesting to see in that bill was that uh, the Department of Justice, the California Department of Justice, has requested a six-month extension for the deadline to register your assault weapons. So they already know that they don't have what it takes to get it done in, within the, their own timeline. They're saying it's not possible. Now, a lot of people might think that that's a good thing, that, when, oh, now we have six more months to figure out what we're gonna do with our rifles. And to some extent, I could agree with you. However, this simply gives the Department of Justice more time to try to make this as brutal as possible for gun owners, which is exactly what they're trying to do. Now, as I said, the Department of Justice has submitted proposed regulations twice. First, they were told by the Office of Administrative Law to take them down because they would reject them, so they, they pulled them uh, voluntarily. And the second time, the Office of Administrative Law simply denied their proposed regulations. In both said proposed regulations, the, the silver lining that I see was uh, there was a clear definition of some of the new toys and gadgets that people are coming up with. For example, they were saying it's clearly not an assault weapon if you have to pull the takedown pin and lift slightly for the magazine to drop free. So the Cross Armory product, the Franklin Armory products, the Patriot Maglock, the new California approved LWRCs, all of those things would be okay in those two proposed regulations that both got denied. So as long as we keep seeing those definitions pretty clear in the upcoming proposed regulations from the Department of Justice, that is some nice silver lining. One of the biggest things I actually think is being overlooked by a lot of people and why I wanna share this with you guys is both times in the proposed regulations, they said that an upper receiver, apart from a lower receiver, in the possession of one person, does not constitute a semi-automatic rifle, which means it's not an assault weapon. What they're saying is, if you have a rifle, and you pop your takedown pin, and you pop your pivot pin, this is no longer a semi-automatic rifle. 
Now, this definition actually really excites me because if you don't want to register your rifle as an assault weapon, if you don't plan on using it ever, for example, maybe you're someone like a lot of us out there who have more than one AR-15 or more than one AK or what have you. Uh, if you want to register some, cool. Uh, if you don't want to register any, uh, you can have it in this configuration in your safe, and this is not an assault weapon. You do not need to register this. However, if you were to simply put it back together, you'd be violating that law again, and you would have a unregistered assault weapon. That would be no bueno. But you could, uh, you know, decide later on before you put it together to put the Cross Armory Kit on there, or the Franklin Armory Kit, or the uh, Patriot Mag Lock, or come up with a featureless design of some kind. You know, there's a lot of ways to get around that. So I think that that's pretty cool. I like that. I think it's also going to allow businesses to kind of run a little cleaner knowing that they can uh, have just a lower and help somebody out maybe build a lower or something like that uh, without having to stress about assault weapon uh, status of any kind for their FFL. So just like before, it's a waiting game. We are waiting to see what the Department of Justice is going to propose next, and we're gonna see if the Office of Administrative Law is going to pass those proposed regulations. Then and only then will we see a registration uh, option available to us here in California to register our super dangerous bullet button equipped uh, assault weapons here in our beautiful state. So be patient, keep your ear to the ground, make sure you're paying attention. Guys, follow Firearms Policy Coalition, the NRA, CRPA, follow California gun-friendly YouTube channels like myself, The Daily Shooter, California Gun Guy, things like that. I will not be like so many of us that refuse to engage and then complain when our rights are stripped away from us. If you do not engage in this fight here in California, you don't have a right to complain. It's that simple. Sign petitions, get out there and vote. Get people elected that will be more friendly to your Second Amendment rights than the people who are currently in office. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to the channel for more California gun news and gear reviews. Don't forget to use the discount code at opticsplant.com, TCA5, for 5% off your entire order. That helps us out a ton. It lets Optics Plant know you guys enjoy the content we're putting out there. Also head on over to patreon.com slash talk to California. If you feel like you wanna help the channel at all financially, that's a great place to do it. We, we have several people doing it now. It's, it's a huge blessing. Thing. Thank you guys so much who are supporting the channel. But yeah, you do have that option to help us out. Also check us out on facebook.com slash Tactic California and Instagram at Tactic California underscore. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.